Bible says the truth is not in you, my brother. All you got to do is repent, my brother. That's what the Bible says. Read that again. And he that said, I know him, and keep him not his commandments, is a liar. The Bible says, if you don't keep the commandments, but you claim you got a relationship with God, you are lying. study to show thyself approved? Okay. What, how, do, how else do you keep the Sabbath holy? Because you study every day. We're supposed to read the Bible every single day. We're supposed to study daily. Watch this. 2 Timothy 2 and 19. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 19. Read. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having, his, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. God knows who it is. You are his. Right? The word is coming out for us to what? Come back to our God to repent as Israelites. Read. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ. So if you want to praise his name, you want to name the name of Christ. Read. Depart from iniquity. Do what? Depart from iniquity. We got to turn away from our sins. That's the message. Right. That's the message, my brother. Now let me ask you, are you married, my brother Tim? You got a wife, but you're not married. How is that possible? I'll be back. All right, Bobby, we'll be here, Lord's will. All right. So you have a wife, but you're not married. Explain. So, like, my tribe, right? Like, we don't really have a marriage system. Yeah. So you got paperwork? No. We've been together for a couple of years. Is your wife, is she native as well? No, she's Mexican. She's Mexican. Okay. Give me Sirach 42 and 7. So this is what we got to do, my brother. You got you to put it in paperwork. Because without that paperwork, you're not actually married in the sight of God. You understand? You Right now, what you're doing, you're, you're being a whoremonger. You're in the midst of fornication. It's good that you've been with the sister for 10 years. Absolutely, all praises. But you got to get married, okay? That's what the Bible teaches. Read this. Sirach chapter 42 and verse 7. Deliver all things in number and weight, uh -huh. and put all in writing that thou givest out, or receivest in. So you got to put it in writing, because that was our custom. Give me that in the Toby. You got you to gotta put your marriage certificate, you got to put that in writing, okay? Because without that, what happens? Because a lot of our people, you make an oath before God to say, I'm going to marry this woman, right? We're going to live according to the commandments. But without that paperwork, one, God is not honoring it. The state is not honoring it. Right? So read this. Tobit, chapter 7 and verse 14. But the main point, this is our custom. Remember, we went to early in Jeremiah. We discontinued from our heritage that God gave us. Right. This is a part of our heritage. Right. Being married, putting things in writing, having a marriage covenant. Right. Read. And called Edna his wife and took paper and did write an instrument of covenants and sealed it. So the instrument of covenants, that's that marriage certificate. You right. understand, my brother Tim? So what do you need to do now with your with your rib? You gotta go get that paperwork. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. So the Bible says marriage is honorable in all. But when you look on TV, when you see us across the hood, we don't push them. What they push it, what kind of spirit they pushing out here? They pushing hot girl summer. Right. They pushing passport bros, homosexuality, LGBTQ. Right. But no, God says marriage is honorable. A man and a woman getting married and having kids. That's honorable in the sight of God. Read. And the bed undefiled. And what you do in your bedroom, that's between you and your ribs. Okay? Read. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So whoremongers and adulterers, 
boyfriend, girlfriend, God is going to judge that. Homosexuality, God is going to judge that. Right. STDs, baby mama drama, having teen pregnancy. Right. These are judgments from God because we're not keeping his commandments. Right. So you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we got to repent from that. Right. We got to get married. Marry your sister. Right. Go with your husband. Right. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Because this is the order. Now you know you got to get married. Now you got to teach your rib the order. Okay? You understand that? That's what we teach him, my brother. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're the Israelites. You understand? First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Hey, my brother right here in the black hat. Hey, my man with the red backpack. How you doing, my brother? Hey, what's your name? Come on here real quick. How let me work. Okay, okay. We, but I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So my brother Solomon, you've been up here for a while. So I want to, I want to see something with you, my brother. Because what we're going over is we say, hey, we got to get married. That's what the Bible teaches, right? So now my brother Timmy got to teach us real the order of God. We all got to know God's order. So I want to see if you... We want to see if your spirit bears witness with the scriptures. You understand? If you're going to humble down to this word. Because the whole time you've been up here, my brother, you've been talking. You understand? But you got to be quiet when the word is coming out. So let's see if you're going to apply God's commandments. Read it again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. The black Messiah. That's Jesus right. Christ is the black man according to the Bible. That's right. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So my brother Tim, that's the divine order. The most high God, Jesus the Christ, man, woman, and children. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. So the Bible says, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. Who is man's head? My brother Tim? Yeah, who is the head of man? Who is the head of Jesus, right? Who is the head of man? What did the Bible just say? The Bible said Yahweh? Let's see. Read it again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is who? Okay, read. Christ! And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying. So now he's talking to us. Every man, you Solomon, you are a man, correct? Okay, you're a man, correct? Okay, so you're a man on this earth. Alright? Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. So look at all the other men out here. Who has their head covered? There's only one brother out here with his head covered, correct? So you having your head covered, what do you do? Dishonor with his head. So what do you need to do while the scriptures are coming out, Solomon, in order to not dishonor Christ? What should you do? What should you do according to the Bible? You're supposed to what? What do you think? What'd you say? Take his head off. It's plain English. Right. It's simple to be understood. Right. God's laws are simple to be understood. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Hey, how you doing, my sister, right here in the jean jacket? Hey, sis. Hey, we out here for you. Come over here real quick. We want to talk with you, sis. What's your name? Sis, come over. Read. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Do you love God? Do you love God with all your heart? Okay, good. Read. For this is the love of God. So, do you love God? All praises. So, this now we're going to show what the love of God is. We, for this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not grievous. My brother Tim, do you think it's hard to take off your hat while the scriptures are coming out? The Bible says the commandments are not grievous. Right. They're not hard. Right. If we say we love God, all we got to do is keep his commandments. That's, right. that's what it means to love God. Do you love God, Solomon? Are you going to take off your head? Okay, so you don't love God. First, first John chapter 2 and verse 4. Read it out. First John chapter 2 and verse 4. Watch this. Pay attention to the spirit, my brother Tim. Read. First John chapter 2 and verse 4. Read it out. He that said, I know 
them and keep them not his commandments. So if you say you know God, you love God, you got a relationship with God, with Yahweh. Read it from the top. And he that said, I know him and keep him not his commandments. But you don't take off your hat when the scripture's coming out. You're not uh, keeping a Sabbath holy. You're not wearing your pants. You're not you, you shaving your head. If you don't keep the commandments, read. It's a liar. It's the word. It's a liar. Read. And the truth is not in him. The Bible says the truth is not in you, my brother. All you got to do is repent, my brother. Right. That's what the Bible says. Right. Read that again. And he that said, I know him, and keep him not his commandments, is a liar. The Bible says, if you don't keep the commandments, but you claim you got a relationship with God, you a liar. That's right. right. And the truth is not in him. Give me Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. Read. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. And the, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable, the fearful and unbelieving, the abominable, greed and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and what? And idolaters. Come on. And all liars. And who? And all liars. Read. So have their part in the lake which burneth fire and brimstone. You're not getting the kingdom being a liar. Right. We need to humble down and keep God's law. That's oh, right. Bro. If breaking God's laws got these curses upon us, my brother. Right. We got to repent. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 